is about the bouncy seat and is responding to a question from Lily Sanchez who asks, at what point can the baby safely go in the bouncy seat? Do they have to have good and proper head and neck control to be put in the bouncy seat? Great question, love it. It's such a popular piece of baby gear, the bouncy seat. You wanna make sure that you're not overusing it or using it you know, at the wrong time. So here's what I have to say. You can start using the bouncy seat at a very early age as a good place to put your baby in an upright position so that they can sort of get a view of everything going around them, which is very stimulating for the baby. To my knowledge, check with your pediatrician and look and see what the instruction manual says that comes with the bouncy seat. The baby does not have to have proper head and neck control. However, in my view, the bouncy seat is not for sleep. If your baby is starting to nod off and fall asleep, Swaddle your baby, put your baby in the crib. That is a safe environment for sleep. And you wanna be careful with bouncy seats, especially if you have other kids running around, pets running around, be careful never to put them on an elevated surface, a table, kitchen counter, not safe. The baby could move just a wee bit and we wouldn't want our baby to be in that unsafe position. It's really between around three and six months of age that your baby is gonna get the most use out of the bouncy seat. That's when the baby is awake more they're gonna enjoy being in there because it's a stimulating environment. I got, I got all the bells and whistles, you know, the vibration, the lights, the music, and it was very convenient for me because I had a great place to put the baby down after the baby had eaten and before the baby was ready to go to sleep. So it was a very, very useful piece of baby gear. Now, there's a lot of fear lately about technology and I haven't really been the, you know, the one to sort of allow my kids a lot of freedoms at a young age when it comes to iPads, computers, iPhones, all that stuff. So some people think that it's not good to have electronic toys and they invest in bouncy seats that are very bare bones, just a seat. Well, I didn't use these. To me, I don't think you're gonna get the same bang for your buck. I put all my kids in the sort of fancy bouncy seat and I don't think any of them have been the worst for the wear. Definitely double check with your doctor but I think it just worked out fine and I was glad that they had that more stimulating and entertaining environment. So anyway, thank you so much for asking your baby safety question. I really appreciate it. Questions from viewers like you are great because they really get me thinking about what are the nitty gritty issues for we moms and dads and I love answering them. Thank you so much for writing into Cloud Mom and I will see you next time.